Hello students, welcome to Sora Sir's classes. This video is number series part 2. And we will start this video by studying some of the special PO series. The first one is n square plus 1 series. In this series, as we can see, the each numbers can be written in the form of n square plus 1. Here 10 is equals to 3 square plus 1, 17 is equals to 4 square plus 1, 26 is equals to 5 square plus 1, 37 is 6 square plus 1, 50 is 7 square plus 1 and 65 is 8 square plus 1. Next is n square minus 1 series. The example of it is 3, 8, 15, 24, 35, where 3 is equals to 2 square minus 1, 8 is 3 square minus 1, 15 is 4 square minus 1, 24 is 5 square minus 1, it is 6 square minus 1. In general, it can be n square plus minus k series where each number can be where each number can be written in this form. For example, the series 6, 9, 14, 21, 30. Here, each number can be written as 1 square plus 5 is equals to 6. This is 2 square plus 5 is equals to 9. 3 square plus 5 is equals to 14. 4 square plus 5 is equals to 21. And 5 square plus 5 is equals to 30. So here, each number can be written in the form n square plus 5. The other special series can be in the form n square plus minus kn series. For example, for example, the series 15, 8, 3, 0 minus 1 here each here this is a pure series in which the each number can be written as n square minus 2n as 15 can be written as 5 square minus 2 into 5 then 8 which is equals to 15 then this is 4 square minus 2 into 4, which is equals to 8. 3 square minus 2 into 3, which is equals to 3. 2 square minus 2 into 2 is equals to 0. And 1 square minus 2 into 1 is equals to minus 1. Just like n square plus minus k series, the series can also be in the form of n cube plus minus k series, where each number can be written in the form of n cube plus minus k. In exams, we face two types of problems. First is to find a missing term. which can either be in the middle of a series or at the end. And second is to find the wrong term. In both the cases, first we have to analyze the series. And then look for a pattern in it.
then either the number itself will obey a certain order or the change in the series will be according to certain rules. Change in series will follow certain order. Note, when the change is slow, or gradual then it is a different series however if the change gets continues to get sharper that is the gap continues to become larger then the change is either the ratio series or the series formed by addition of squared or cubed number. Now let us solve the following question. So we have the following series where we have to find the number in place of this question mark. Now here we first have to identify the pattern in it. Here we can see the change is not getting very drastic. So it should be a different series. Now let us subtract 5 by 8. We are getting plus 3. Here it is plus 5. Here it is plus 7. Here it is plus, plus 17. Now we can see that all the numbers that are getting added are prime numbers. So if we add the next prime number that is 11 to 20 we get 31 and by adding the next prime number which is 13 we get 4, 4 44 which is the next number in the series. So the number that will come in the place of question mark is 31. So our answer is 31. Next we have this series and here we have to find the wrong one of the number in the series is wrong and we have to find out that wrong number. Now if we analyze this series we can see that the pattern is like this 2 into 2 plus 4 is equals to 8, 8 into 2 plus 4 is equals to 20, 20 into 2 plus 4 is equals to 44 that is the previous number is multiplied by 2 and then 4 is added to it giving the following series then 44 into 2 plus 4 is equals to 92. 92 into 2 plus 4 is equals to 188. But we have 184. So this is the wrong number. Now further we can see that 188 into 2 plus 4 is equals to 380. So the answer is the wrong number in the series is 184 where it should be replaced with 188. Next type of problem in number series is the two line series. Here as numbers suggest consist of number series in two line. Series in two lines. If one if one complete series is given in the first line and then incomplete series in the first line there would be a complete series 
and an incomplete series is given in the second line. And it is given that both the series follow the same definite rule. Then we can complete our incomplete series by analyzing the complete series and finding the rule. For example, suppose we have the following question. 15, 28, 51, 84, 127 and so on. It is the first series and the second series has 22, A, B, C, D and so on. So first here we have to find the pattern in uh, the, the first line and with the help of this pattern we will complete the second series. Now from the line 1 that is the first line we can see that the difference between the two successive series are plus 13 plus 23 plus 33 plus 43 and so on. So our A would be equals to 22 plus 13 which is equals to 35. B is equals to 35 plus 23 which is equals to 58. C is equals to 58 plus 33 which is equals to 91. D is equals to 91 plus 43 which is equals to 134. And so on. So this is the two line series problem where we have to find the rule in the first series and the which is completed and then apply the same rule to complete the incomplete series.